Commissioner Max channel. For today's uh, lesson, I would like to share with you about the module of the function. And actually, um, I'm going to discuss this module because uh, some of you actually you try your very best to do, but you actually make some careless mistake and some of you actually you give up certain question you didn't do you leave it blank for me to do so today i will discuss after you try i actually go through the working uh, done by you it seems like quite many of you are very serious okay you did try your best all right so now let's uh, discuss uh, the question that some of you are not so confident okay so I call this is a module functions because actually your mini exam is coming soon and actually uh, I don't have much time to discuss with you question by question so I will take this uh, opportunity to share with you through my channel so if you're free uh, during school holidays why not you just learn uh, from the question that you actually not confident with okay so let's see I'm going to discuss maybe as many I, as I can so for the first question actually this is about the when you read the question the function fx uh, 3x minus 2 right okay this is a function okay then the question asks you to find the value of x when function maps onto each cell meaning what okay the each cell means the object will go to the same object that means it means like this so you have the arrow diagram so this is a function this side is object right let's say and then this is an image normally that is how you write isn't it so you say maps that is a function okay so in this case the question say map onto itself so the word the keywords is maps onto itself so I'm going to highlight to you what is the meaning for this so that means if one it will map to one if two you will map to two that is a meaning all right so if X here for sure it will map to X that means the image and object are the same all right so that means you can actually say that the fx is is the same with the x okay so you can substitute into this function so normally when you solve the function we always convert the arrow into equation all right and um the question already mentioned that maps onto itself so you you actually can solve the x right so you can just equal to x that means you just solve this all right so it's actually 3x minus x equal to 2 right so 2x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 1 will do okay it's not it's actually not modulus okay uh, it's just um new terms maps onto itself so you just memorize it meaning that fx equal to x when you see maps onto itself all right so for the keywords normally we will focus the keywords so when you see this one we write this terms okay concept okay i have discussed one question maybe i will discuss a question that majority of the student make mistake because there are so many questions right it's good that you attempt all the questions because after you attempt then you you can learn from your mistake right okay for question number b okay let's see b the value of the h uh, this one the value of h such that uh, f2 minus h equal to 4h right so this one actually uh, some of you actually not not so confident to do so let's see the function is was given here 
So for function, we always use a function given. We will substitute fx. We copy down fx equal to 3x minus 2, right? It's, it was given. So for function, it's actually very simple. When you see function, uh, you just do it. Like if the object here is 2 minus h, so here will be 2 minus h. So it will follow, alright? Okay, so we will follow the object. So that means 3, 2 minus h, minus 2 is actually equal to this. Then 4h is the one given, right? So you just sub the object into the function. Then you just solve 3 times 2, 6, 3h minus 2 equal to 4h. Then, okay, you will have how many h? This is 4, right? This is 7h. So the h will be equal to 4 over 7. Alright? This is number 1b. Okay, 1b. The answer is h equal to 4 over 7. So now I would like to proceed to another one. Which is question I call as uh, some you never write the number, so it's hard for me to mark. So for question number two, you are given the function, right? Uh, this one also quite many of you not sure how to do. You are given the function mx, right? And then you are given the hx, and then you are given the mhx is equal to 3px minus q. Okay, normally when you see the composite function was given so you don't you don't actually don't see this first don't do anything so this will be your answer later so we will start from this two so if i have the mx i will write as p x plus one right why i will start with the m because i look at here is m okay now i'm going to substitute the follow the uh, composite function is given the object is hx right so for this side you substitute the hx right left go to left right go to right so we will substitute the function into the composite function mhx understand okay now you need to uh, actually use the answer given so they gave you mhx was given so mhx is 3px minus q right so this one was given and we're going to expand this is 3 okay this one is 3px minus 5p plus 1 okay until here some of you actually lost you are not sure how to do right so actually it's quite simple we just do comparison now you just highlight like this you see we are going to compare this thing will be the same because both are actually composite function it means that this thing will be equal to uh, negative 5p plus 1 so now we will write negative q equal to negative 5p plus 1 hence uh, the q will be equal to 5p minus 1 all right so the question said express q in terms of p or p in terms of q oh let's read the question oh oh the question one the p in terms of q so let's read the question first before we stop so this is not what the question one isn't it so we have to follow the instruction so in spm exam if you do like this they will give you wrong for the maybe you you will get uh, working marks one or two marks but you won't get uh, full marks because the question one the p as a subject so meaning that the p must be alone so bring over okay then the five must divide actually this is a p meaning that you must express until one p okay a uh, one p in terms of q this is so called p in terms of q so i noticed that some of you actually give me this answer which actually not right answer all right okay so i have discussed number two ready now i'm going to discuss number three uh, number three actually some of you got no problem you can do uh, finding inverse is very simple right so normally we let gx equal to y let gx equal to y then we will find the 
x uh, once you find the x uh, actually you express the x in terms of y so some of you leave your answer like this so in ex in SPM exam they will minus your mark because this is actually not the right way to write the inverse because the object must be uh, the same for the inverse okay so we have sector uh, 3a how about 3b you're asking to find fx okay let's see we want to find fx so we write back our g inverse x is x minus 1 over 3 now let's see uh, we are given the gx all right and also fgx so now we need to find the fx so how to find fx okay uh, in order to find fx you see you are given fgx right we copy down the fgx is f gx is equal to 9x squared plus 6x minus 4 9x squared plus 6x minus 4 so I'm going to find fx that means I will actually find the g inverse you know right do you know why you find g inverse because if I sub the g inverse inside there I can actually cancel the g right so I got fx will do so f g inside here g and g inverse actually it will cancel out so here you have to substitute g inverse uh, to replace x so just now what is our g inverse x minus 1 over 3 right so we will substitute x minus 1 over 3 x minus 1 over 3 okay understand so actually uh, some of you actually not sure how to do for this one right you are actually uh, you are actually not sure how to do because you don't understand this I, I guess g g inverse it will be actually uh, uh, giving you the x so this one actually is a concept you know example you got g g inverse 2 you will write answer is 2 f f inverse 3 you will write 3 you understand this concept you don't understand i think some of you don't understand but some of you okay right so now i'm going to simplify until i get the answer that i want so be careful this should be x minus 1 square over 9 3 square you know uh, i think better you put bracket like this okay so then here you can simplify okay uh, you can simplify 3 1 3 2 so it's 2x minus 1 minus 4 okay do it carefully so that you won't uh, have to waste time to do correction this is 9 right this is 9 so I cancel so that means the fx is actually x minus 1 square plus 2x minus 2 minus 4 right okay so let's uh, simplify you cannot leave your answer like this you have to simplify to the same plus form then only they will give you full marks in SPM exam okay so if you never simplify they will not give you full marks so you can cancel out which one I think I can cancel out mm -hmm. this one can cancel out right so left only uh, 1 minus 6 minus 5 okay this is the answer for number 3b okay fx equal to x squared minus 5 right for those of you who still not sure how to do your SPM exam will be coming soon uh, end of the year maybe next beginning of the year for form 5 student and the form 4 student actually this is the time for you to brush up your max skills all right so that you can secure the a plus so i think basically uh question number one two three quite many of you 
uh, making mistake. Okay, so that's why I uh, purposely uh, spend time to create the video to share with you. So I hope that you can uh, learn from your mistake. All right. Okay. Now let's see number four. Okay, we will discuss maybe see how because uh, at the moment I am quite free. So I will dis I will share with you. Okay. Uh, when I'm busy, I can't help. Okay, so now you see this question, right? This is question that uh, we call as number four, right? So this one they give you hx, you know, they give you hx, and also h2 we don't read as uh, we actually don't read as square because it's actually sub h into h. So you see the function is always like that. You can just uh, leave the x empty, and then you just uh, sub accordingly so they say h2 h2 it means that it doesn't mean a square it means h uh, inside the h we will sub the hx all right that's actually the meaning of h2x okay so now i'm going to sub the hx all right this is h2 okay because because you're given h2 so here as i say uh, the right go to the right the left go to the left this is left, this is right. Alright, we are getting H2, right? And the H2 was given, which is 4x plus Q, right? Okay, so you just write P. This one, when you multiply, is P times P. So P square X. Alright, then P times 3 will be minus 3P, then minus 3. Okay, then when you reach this stage, huh, many students actually... Uh, majority of the student will just write p square equal to 4 you are doing the right thing you are doing comparison both sides because they are both equal but uh, when you solve uh, you tend to forget especially the form 4 student okay you tend to forget there is a positive and negative when you square it right so please remember this because if you uh, didn't put plus and minus your answer for the Q will be affected because they set the condition for Q. So Q is this thing, colon. That means the Q is depends on the value of P. So you, you read the question, they will tell you what P you should use. They will say choose a P which is less than zero. Less than zero means it's a negative. So you got P equal to two. You reject this answer, rejected. Then the P equal to negative two you substitute into there so your q is negative 3 times negative 2 minus 3 so q is 6 minus 3 and so your q will be equivalent to 3 right okay so you have to show the proper step all right uh, especially this one you have to show plus minus okay i think um, quite many of you wrong for this one so please uh, bear in mind that uh, there are two values of the p okay uh, for this one also the same in fact if you know how to do just now the question right you should know how to do this one okay it's it's the same you see or not so if you keep on practice you will be very expert because the question will be uh, the same so when cf2 what you write you write ff right okay isn't it so this is was this was given there and from here you need to find on your own okay so we copy down the function f i'm going to copy down the function f something a something minus 3 and the something that you need to put inside of course is the object right okay so fx okay this side is ax minus 3 it's almost the same like just now the question See or not? This is 16x minus b. It was given f2. This is f2x. Right? And then here you multiply will be a square x minus 3a minus 3, right? So you are getting a square is 16 and negative b is negative 3a minus 3. It means that the a you have two value. One is positive, one is negative. So the question again say that they want the less than zero negative value. 
So that means you will write negative b equal to negative 3 times negative 4 minus 3, which is negative b equal to negative positive 12 minus 3. So that means your b will be negative. Uh, your b will be negative 9, right? Because there is a negative b here, which is 9. So hence your b should be negative 9. I think some of you, you give me answer is positive 9. Alright, so be careful when you do. Okay, so I think that's all I want to share with you. So one day I will share a few questions with you. So till then, I shall see you in my next video sharing. So please do correction and please learn from the uh, from the mistake that you made. We, we actually uh, made mistake from time to time, but we keep on improving, right? Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day.